Hello everyone, today we are going to be making um, this board game over here. We call it Chutes and Ladders, you might call it Slides and Ladders. We're going to be making this on Scratch today. Um, first off, we're going to start off with the board costumes. The board is pretty simple. It's like grid tile that you can use by doing lines. Um, hold shift to make it more straight. Something like this. And then copy and paste. Add some numbers in there once you're done. Um, so then you created a grid with some numbers in it. Go as high as um, you want. The highest that we could get was 70 because we couldn't actually extend it all the way to 100 due to the size of the screen over here. Um, for the second part to make the board, we now have some ladders. These rectangles will be representing the ladders and these are like going to be the slide marks. Slides will be moving down, ladders will be moving up. And finally, you give the coloring. Um, we got rid of most of the numbers except for one, the finish, and the ones with the slides and the ones with the ladders. That way it looks less messy compared to this. And then we gave it a little bit of color. And that's how you make the board costumes. The code for the board is pretty simple. If When the green flag is clicked, the player turn, which is this variable over here, um, it's going to set it to either player one or player two. It's always going to start off at player one. You, um, finished will be false because no one has actually reached a finish. And we're going to set moving to false because no one has moved yet. Um, later, you'll see some broadcast messages that say play sound move. So when it moves, it's going to make this nice little sound. Um, and this play sound slide broadcast will be for when you're going down a slide or going up a ladder. Next up is the dice. The costumes are pretty simple. It's just a square with one dot, then a square with two dots, all the way up to a square with six dots. There's six costumes for it. Um, to do the code, we're also going to be using a little bit of micro bit. These two things do the same thing, except for a micro bit, you shake it, this one you click. Um, either way, it's going to roll. Um, in this block over here, the define rolling, if moving is false, which means if no one's moving, and finished is false, which means um, no one has won yet, it's going to start the sound, shake and roll, dice sound, Bible, and then it's going to do these two other blocks dice shaking and show at micro bit and then after that it's going to broadcast player one move and broadcast player two move if um one of these conditions is true and at least one of them has to be true um for the dice shaking you um the dice starts at this position negative two one two comma negative one five two you can place the dice anywhere we just chose this corner 
so it makes it look like it that nice little animation. Um, for the show it micro bit, all it does is just show and display it on the micro bit. This part isn't very necessary. If you want to, then you can connect to micro bit and do the soup chunk of code over here. And finally, when this broadcasts, the player will start to move. Um, for the players, when the green flag is clicked, its position is zero because it's not on a single block, so the position is zero. And it's going to go to, in this case, negative 167, comma, negative 160. Um, it's the same for player two, except the, some parts of it is a little bit different. Um, we're going to be focusing on one player. When it received the player one move from the dice, it's going to set moving to true, which means it's currently moving right now, which also means the dice cannot shake while it's still moving. It's going to repeat how many times the dice rolled. If it rolled four in this case, it's going to move four. If it rolled a six, it's going to move six. Um, for this one, it's going to change its position by one. This was originally zero, so it's going to change it by one first. Broadcast sound move. Um, it was the board that receives this from earlier that I told you in the video. Then it's going to do the function move me. In move me, what it basically does is it just sets the variable x to the position. And then over here, it just checks if x is zero, then it's going to set x to 20 over here. And it's going to glide. We chose glide 0 0.3 seconds only because it makes it look smooth instead of like teleport. Um, here's the difference. Yep. Um, so that's like an example. It's just going to glide. Um, go to it like teleports. We don't actually like see it. Um, over here, we have a list, X and Y. Um, these are the positions of where these tiles over here are. Okay. Then after it did this block over here, it's going to jump back to where it left off. If the position of it is 70, in this case, um, then it's going to set it to finished to true and broadcast player one win and it's going to stop the script. Um, if this is false, it's going to keep repeating. The if this is false every time, it's going to jump over here. If jump index contains the position it's on, this is another list. Jump index is where the start of the ladder or slide is. If um, you landed on three, you're going to, then it's going to jump to 24. 12 will go to 28, etc. Um, since you made your board, you're going to have different numbers in this, but this is ours. And then basically what this does, it just sets the position to where it should go next. It's going to broadcast play sound slide, which was also on board. Then it's going to do move me again. Then it's going to broadcast turn, set moving to false, which means the dice can roll again. Um, player two is similar. Finally, we have the message over here. When green flag is clicked, it's going to switch the costume over here 
to one. This is just basic text at the top. Whose turn it is and who wins. Um, when it receives turn from the player over here. If player turns equals one, set player turns to two. That way it's player's two turn. Then it's going to switch costume to two, which says player's two's turn. Otherwise, it's going to do the exact opposite. When it receives player one win from over here, It's going to switch costume to costume three, which is player one wins in this case. Play sound to win. This. And then if you have a micro bit on, it's going to clear the display. The same thing happens, the same thing happens for player number two. Except it switches the costume to costume number four, which is this costume over here. That's how you make this Toots and Ladders game. Hope you enjoyed. Hope that you can make it. And I sure hope that it's fun. See you on the next video. Bye. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. That way you won't miss out another one of our videos.